If you're anything like me, then you're probably a creative person, but sometimes you find it hard to actually get started or to stay motivated while you're working on something. For me, it can be a challenge even thinking of ideas for future videos to make for you guys. It's been clear that I've been stuck inside what I'll call a creative block. If you clicked on this video, then I'm willing to bet that you're probably in a similar situation. If you're new to the channel, my name is Sid Ward, and I create videos about my personal journey to becoming a self-sufficient creative. And I also try to inspire you to be a little more creative along the way. Now personally, I hope that my passion for creativity can help you out regardless of the medium. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll be the first to see my videos when they come out. I upload weekly videos, or at least I try to. If I'm being honest, sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to stay motivated and creative week after week making these videos. And that leads me back into creative blocks. Make sure you stick around to the end. I'm going to tell you all about some of the ways that you can overcome these creative blocks. So what are creative blocks? Simply put, they are mental or emotional blocks that you'll experience that make it difficult to, you know, create things. Creative blocks can be different for everyone. It's basically that feeling you get when you look at a blank page and you don't know where to start or you don't know how to begin writing or drawing, that kind of feeling. There are different names on it depending on what industry you're talking about. Some examples include writer's block, uh, art block, and if you search online, there's plenty of discussion around this topic. All the different types basically refer to the fundamental creative block, and that's something that I'll hopefully be able to get you out of. That being said, let's get into some of the ways that you can take action and overcome your creative block and get back to doing what you love. So the first thing that I recommend you do is to allow yourself to take some time away from the project. I don't want you to feel guilty for wanting to take a step away for a bit. This is completely healthy. It's important that you give yourself time where you aren't actively working on the project. Now, some people might call this procrastinating, but it's an important step. You can't work 24 seven and progress isn't linear. Those times when you take breaks, they allow your mind to both rest and consider options that you wouldn't have otherwise. So simply put, make sure that you take your breaks. The next thing that you should do is branch out of your comfort zone, whatever that might mean for you. Personally, I recommend traveling as much as you can. And I don't mean you have to drop everything and you know go across the world, but it's important that you make time for venturing outside of your typical environment. Maybe even drive to a different city just to go to a park or coffee shop that you've never been to. That's something that I did recently and it made the world of difference. You should also try to talk to as many new people as possible. I know that this can be challenging for some, but it's important for learning new perspectives. When you experience new things or just different things, you're basically adding information to your personal library. This means that while you're creating, you can refer back to this knowledge. The more that you experience, the better equipped you are to handle new and unique challenges. See, now who'd have thought that just traveling a little could help you with creativity? If you like that tip, then don't forget to subscribe and like the video while you're at it. But that's not all. I do have a few more tips for you guys. And the next one is introspection. So what do I mean by that? What I mean is to take an honest look at your emotional state and understand what it is that you hope to gain by creating. It could be for success, either monetarily or personally, or it could be that there's a story that you really want other people to hear. Whatever your motive is, write it down in a journal or however you take notes, link up here to my note taking video, and remember why you're doing it. Then think about the tasks that you need to complete in order to be happy with the project. And I recommend that you keep it simple, preferably short bullet points for what you're gonna have to do. Now here's the catch. Limit yourself to only seven items per day. Studies have shown that that's the magic number for tasks to complete within a day. Any more than that, then you're probably overloading yourself. And this could put you back into a creative block. My next tip is to join or make communities where you and others can create often. You can find communities of creatives on YouTube, Instagram, and Twitch. I recommend that if you don't already have one, make a Discord account. Many people make communities using Discord to communicate and share their ideas. I'm in a couple of Discords myself that focus on specific art or illustration challenges. And honestly, it's really great seeing everyone else's progress. It's a space where you can ask questions and ask for honest feedback too. I'm personally still fine tuning my Discord server where myself and you all can create. It'll also be a space where you can share your progress. So stay tuned for that. You can also follow me on Instagram. That's where I post updates about my journey, but I'll also be sure to let you know when that Discord server is open to the public. Don't be afraid to share what you're working on with other people. Oftentimes they can give you feedback on how to improve and they can offer unique perspectives of your work. This tip is a little more general, but don't worry about everything you make being great. It's difficult, but you have to abandon the perfectionist mindset. It's better for you to have created something and learned from the result than to have never created it at all because of the fear that it's not good enough. It's important that you make your end goal attainable and that you stick with it. If your result isn't perfect, that's okay. Always try your best, but understand that it's a step in your journey to creating even better work. It's important to remember that breaking through your creative block is an active process. 
It's something where you need to make specific changes in your life that'll spark your creativity. Now, I hope that this video was helpful for you. And if so, I'd appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel. That way you can keep up with my weekly videos on different ways to stay creative. And let me know in the comments below, what are some of the things that you think could help break through creative blocks? Thanks for watching. Get out there and start creating.